So today we are making a video where we will be sharing some of our tips for visiting the temples of Angkor in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Definitely. We just finished a three-day tour there and it was an excellent trip all in all, but we did learn a few things along the way that we'd like to share with you. Okay, so point number one, we would suggest you go for three days instead of one. There are just so many temples to choose from, there is no way you would be able to fit all of the main ones into one day. And there is an option for a seven day pass, but we both think that is way too much. You would be tumbled yeah. out by the end of that. You really would be in just one day to try to cover all of the main temples, all the temples you'd like to visit. It, it just wouldn't be any fun. You'd be going from, you know, maybe six or seven in the morning, right up until five at night. And given the heat and humidity here, that's just not okay. pleasant. Yeah, not pleasant at all. At all. Okay, so tip number two is get up early to visit the temples. And you're going to have to get up a lot earlier than you might think. On our first day here, we got up at 7 in the morning. We thought that would be early enough. But, I mean, by 8 o'clock, it was already scorching. Yeah, we, we actually learned our lesson by visiting uh, Bayon first in Angkor Thom. And it was overrun by package tourists at the time. Yeah. Uh, probably, we probably got there about 8 o'clock. We had to buy our, our passes and whatnot. But every day after the two other days we got up at five and much better experiences yes sometimes we even had the temple all to ourselves so set yeah. your alarm 4 30 in the morning you can be there by five and it'll be a completely different experience perfect example of that was at bente Sri. yes we were the first people there mm -hmm. and we got a vip tour so get up even if you're not a morning person get up early you'll be rewarded for it yes okay point number three Take a tuk-tuk instead of a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> and we noticed a lot of people actually riding bicycles and they did not look ecstatic at all. Yeah. How did they look? If it Well, if it's your first time in Siem Reap, you may think, oh, well, the temples are not that far away. I can totally go there on a bike. But really, it's, it's a bit of a ride, even to the main temples that are nearby. Yeah. So we would recommend taking a tuk-tuk, they can drive you around from one site to the next, you'll be well rested, and that way you can actually wander around, yeah. explore on foot, and not be exhausted. And the drivers know where they're going. Yes. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize just how many temples there are, just how big that area is, the temples of Angkor, it's enormous. And even if you knew exactly where you were going, you'd be logging a lot of time on your bike as opposed to walking in the temples, which at times can be kilometers in length. Mm -hmm. Like Angkor Thom is a good example of that. That's, I mean, that's a very long temple to explore. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so next we are going to tell you what our favorite temples were. So my favorite one, I know it's kind of cheesy, Angkor Wat, the main temple, but I really enjoyed watching the sunrise there. This was my first time in Cambodia and I felt like the temple itself really lived up to my expectations. And you met some uh, some new friends as well. Yes, Tell us about I that. did make some friends with people from Uruguay. I overheard them speaking Spanish, so we had a nice little chat while we watched the sunrise. It was good. <laughs> okay, so it may have been my first time visiting the temples of Angkor, but Sam over here has been four times. So tell us, what was your favorite temple this time around? Well, this time around, it was actually Bente Sri. And that was because we were the first people on site. And the previous times I've visited that temple has always been crowded. I've always left later in the day. And, you know, like, I've just been competing for elbow space with other tourists. It wasn't a temple that I actually enjoyed that much in the past. But being the first there, getting a VIP tour, which is a really special experience, that was just incredible. And like it totally changed my opinion of the temple. I felt like I was there exploring. I felt like I was having an intimate experience. And you can get that by waking up early. That's one of the main tips that we've, we've suggested for, for people visiting the temples. Yep, so those are our suggestions. We hope you really enjoy your visit to the temples of Angkor and have fun. Yeah. yeah.